Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing my Shop My Stash for spring, I guess. We'll see if I feel like changing it up again next month, but usually I keep my rotations longer because I don't wear makeup every day, so sometimes within a month I don't even have time to try everything that's in my rotation. So. Um, what I'm showing you here is actually almost everything that's in my full face project pan. Whatever you don't see here that I mentioned in my project pan video, it's because it's in my, it's already in my everyday makeup drawer. So this stuff is just what I had to pull from other places to make sure that I have it all here and then I actually get use out of it. So I'll just go over this quickly because I already showed you guys most of this in my project pan video so I'll link that below in case you didn't see it but um, so here we just have my Bobbi Brown face base this little mini guy my Tarte aqua sealer this is a product I just added in because the liquid liner that I originally put on my list was the Tarte So Fine and I tried to use that yesterday and it was completely dried up so that's in my empties so I added this one in it's the VDL Expert Deep Matte Liquid Liner um, so I'll try to get some use out of this even though I don't wear liquid liner very often um, this is my setting spray that I'm trying to use up my Becca Opal this is the foundation that I'm trying to use, my Tarte um, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. They don't make this anymore, but it's basically the same as their, what's the new one called? The new one that's like a hydrating gel foundation. Apparently it's this, but repackaged, so it used to come in a pot. This is how much I have left, so it's still quite a bit. I have my two, uh, not Too Faced, <laughs> Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, my Fenty Cream Bronzer. Um, this I just added in as well because I only had one lip gloss on my, in my project pen because the other one expired. So this one is from Benefit. They don't make this anymore either. It was called the California Kissin lip gloss and it's supposed to like brighten your teeth or something. It says smile brightening lip shine. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a gimmick, but it actually smells really good and it looks nice. It doesn't look like this color on your lips, so yeah. Um, there's that. The other lip gloss is this little peach one from Too Faced. The shade is in Pure Peach. This one here. My lipstick, so my Aveda Cherry Bud lipstick. My Too Faced Sex on the Peach lipstick. Um, when I went to link these for my last video, they don't sell these anymore. I found that kind of surprising because I thought they were really popular, but yeah, so apparently these have been discontinued. Um, my liquid lipsticks are both Sephora Cream Stain Minis, the red one and this. This one, I thought it was like a grayish tone, but the shade is called Pink Tea, so yeah, I'm a little confused, but there's these two. Um, my blushes, so my Hourglass Mood Exposure and my Tower 28 uh, Magic Hour. Yeah, Magic Hour. And this eye topper from Benefit, another, um, what's the word? Extinct <laughs> product. Um, I actually really like this though. I used it yesterday. It's definitely not, like, the formula is not what it used to be. It used to be, like, a very creamy kind of thing, and you could use it as a liner. But now it's pretty much, like, a powder. It's very strange, but I just use it as an eyeshadow, and it works really well. So that's everything that was 
that's in here. So I don't know if it's gonna stay in this because honestly I don't have anywhere to put this. <laughs> so we'll just have to see. I'm just keeping it like that for now. So now I'll show you what was in my shop my stash. This is like super dusty. I have to clean this <laughs> when I get everything out of here. So let's just go over this again. Some things have been in here for a long time, so you might have seen this already if you follow my Shop My Stash videos. So we'll just start from the front here. Um, this is a eyeshadow palette, obviously, from <laughs> Viseart. It's the Petit Pro Volume 1, I'm pretty sure. It looks like this. I use this um, a few times. I'm going to put it back in my collection because I this is not screaming like spring to me even though it's neutral I feel like it's more like a fall kind of palette so I'm gonna put that back uh, this Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Sublime Eyeshadow Palette uh, I'm gonna put this one back too I did use it one time I think I only used this one shade, which I was actually surprised that it's a duochrome. I didn't think um, she put her duochrome shades in these minis, but this one, um, like how you see it on camera, it's like a cranberry shade, but when I'm looking at it now, it's like bronze. So I wore this in my like haul video. What was that haul about? I don't know. Oh, like Valentine's Day, <laughs> Valentine's Day haul. I was wearing this and when I saw it on, like when I was editing, I was like, oh, that's a duochrome shade. So yeah, I am I like this little palette. I mean, now I have, since buying this one, I did actually buy the big like 18 shade Pat McGrath palette. So I didn't really need this in the end, but it's nice to have, I guess, for like one shadow looks. This is actually my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in the shade R220. I already know that I like this. It's just a powder foundation. I'm wondering if I should keep this in. Yeah, I guess I will because I don't, I don't think I use this enough for my liking. So I'm gonna keep this in. This I didn't use, my Master Palette by Mario um, from ABH. It looks like this. This is definitely not a spring palette, so I'm gonna put it away and probably I'll never get rid of this. <laughs> this I'm also putting away. I used it in my last video, my Milani Soft and Sultry palette. I didn't use it like that much. I honestly just stick to like the lighter shades, but I'm not gonna get rid of it because I, I really like it actually. And I don't really have any other palettes in my collection with this color story, so I'm gonna keep this one. This I'm gonna put away. This is very like holiday-esque to me. It's the MAC Star Dipped Face Palette. Um, I said before in a video, I don't find I have like a highlighting brush that works with this formula. So, but from what I did use, I did like it. I just feel like it's very hard to pick up this formula on the brushes that I have. It's like that, um, I guess baked gelée kind of formula. So yeah. And, but anyway, it's very like, December, January to me. So I'm gonna put it back in my collection. This one, this Glam Metals by Crown Pro, I did not use. It looks like this. It's an all shimmer palette. I think even this black shade is not like a matte, it's kind of satiny. This has been in here a long time and I never reach for it. So I'm wondering, but I, I really like how it looks. 
it's just very fall to me i think i'm gonna put it back in my collection i'm not ready to pass it on yet this i'm also putting back my pretty vulgar nesting bitch face i've used this many times i've used the highlighter um this bronzer i've used a lot i don't think i used these four though but i'm just kind of getting sick of this because i it was the only bronzer i had in my in this past rotation so i used it every time i did my makeup and i'm just ready to you know try other things and i have two bronzers in my project pen anyway so i definitely don't need to keep this in here this is my z palette i'm gonna put this back in my collection even though i haven't used it i just feel like these shades are not like calling to me for this season so i'm gonna put that away oh this i'm definitely keeping in because first of all it's a natasha denona palette and i have not used it one time since i bought it and it's the bronze palette so i feel like this is like an all year long kind of palette it came out in the summer like this past summer so yeah i'm gonna definitely keep this in and use it look how pretty it is this palette i am passing on this is the hip dot c note palette it's beautiful the color story i love the color story but I used this twice and I just didn't like it both times. I didn't like the textures and how like it blended on my eye and it just kind of annoyed me every time. So I know that because I had that experience two times, why would I reach for this again? So I'm going to pass this on um, to a friend who will hopefully get better use out of it. This has been in here forever, the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette, and I still have not used it, but like, this is the color story. It's basically like, just a random selection of colors, I feel like none of this goes together, in my opinion. Maybe the blues, but I never put like just two metallic blues on my eyelid. So I never think to reach for this palette and I ugh, I don't want to get rid of it though. When am I going to use this? Another thing is like I was thinking of decluttering some stuff and I was maybe like maybe I should declutter the Kristen Leanne palette because I never use it. But then I was like but maybe I don't use it because we're in a pandemic <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. So like when I actually do go places, it's like to the grocery store and to my mom's. And when I go to my mom's, like we just go outside and like shop. So when am I gonna put like a green and orange eye on or a pink, you know? So I don't wanna declutter things just because I haven't had the chance to use them yet, if that makes sense. I think I'm gonna keep this in here because this this orange and this green I don't know this is harder than I thought it was gonna be I'll just keep this in for now this might be the last time we'll see so that was it for like palette things um this I added in here recently because I went to use it in my last video and then I was like, you know what, this is probably expired and I should just use it up because it's SPF. So when SPF expires, it's basically useless. So I really just want to use this up. It still, it still feels quite full, but it's also like one of those packagings that's full of air. So honestly, I don't really know how much is left, but it feels pretty heavy still. So this is going to stay in and I'm planning on using this like maybe every time 
I do my makeup because I should be using SPF anyway and I often forget or like I only rem think to use SPF when it's like really sunny out and that's not good because there's UV rays at all times even if the sun is out or not so yeah technically I guess this is in my project pan also so I'm gonna keep this in here my infamous rare beauty foundation I am passing this on because it's just not working for my skin type and it's the wrong shade for me I just have to finally admit that even though I love the packaging and I love the brand and everything else I just yeah the formula of this is not for my dry flaky skin so gonna pass this on definitely gonna keep the primer though um, since I have two primers in my project pan though I'm gonna put this back in my collection I'm also going to put this back, my VDL Creamy Stick Jelly. I did use it multiple times. It's just the shade is not like bright enough for my liking right now. And I have other blushes that I want to use up, so I'm going to put that back. This is another primer. I'm going to put this back too. Because I really just want to use up those ones that are in my project pan. This was the Benefit Pore Professional, but the hydrating version. Actually, when I did use this, I didn't really like it. So, I don't know. But I have to try it with different foundations, I think, to really know for sure. So, I'll put this away for now. My Milani Make It Dewy. This is almost finished, actually. So, probably when I finish my project beauty setting spray this will be this will replace it in my project pan because i actually i do like it on the face but it's the packaging and like the spray that i hate so yeah but because it's like a mini and there's not much left i should just use it up so I'll put this away for now, but you might see it come back if i finish my other one this color pop Ladybird Super Shock Shadow. I maybe use this once. So should I keep it in? I think I'm gonna put it back. If I miss it, I mean, why would I miss it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it back in my oops in my collection for now. So now everything else. Oh, I didn't even see this. Wow. How could I have missed this? This Nicole Guerrero um, glow kit from Anastasia. I love this, but I'm gonna put it back because I used it a lot of times. Okay, so now everything else is just lip products. This is so dirty, I'm sorry. I'm definitely gonna clean it. Uh, this is a sample that I did not use still. It's all the different Dior like shine lip products. The Stellar Shine, the Stellar Halo Shine, and the Stellar Gloss. I guess I should use this. I mean, because it's taking up space. Yeah, maybe I should keep this in. Oh, these aren't lip products. What am I talking about? This is eye products. Oh, I... <laughs> This one is funny because I said in my last video I was going to pass this on but actually when I did my makeup the other day I was looking for this so I don't I don't know what my deal is well actually I do the the thing is I like this I like the formula I like the shade but I just don't like it for under my eyes so but when I do, when I want like an extra coverage, like, cause I was putting on my Physician's Formula BB cream and I, I had like some blemishes around my chin and I was like, oh, let me just cover that up with some concealer and I went to reach for this one. So that tells me I should keep it, just not for under eye concealer, but I don't think I need to keep it in my shot my stash cause I've been using it 
a lot. And I have my full opinion on it, which is that it's not good for under my eyes because my skin is too dry. So, but it is good for spot concealing. Um, this one, I have one concealer in my shop, my stash. So I think I will keep this one in. This one I added in at the end because when I realized this one was not good for my under eye, I put this one in here. So. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna put this back, my Makeup Forever uh, Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow in the shade Earth, cause I just, I don't know. I've used it enough, I like the shade. I don't need to keep it for another round. These two products are the bane of my existence. <laughs> I did not use these one time. And I have other shades of this product. It's the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. I have other shades that I think might be more springy, so I'm gonna put these two away. Now we've officially come to the lip products. <laughs> so my Fenty Cream in the shade Honey Waffles, I wore it for the first time in my last video. And I did like it. It's just not, again, it's not good for this pandemic time that we're living in because it's so creamy and glossy and it is quite pigmented. So this is not something that I'm comfortable putting on like and then putting a mask over it because it's just gonna get everywhere. So I'm gonna put this back in my collection. I'm also gonna put back my Becca Sugar this lipstick, I like the formula, but and I actually like the shade as it is, like in the bullet. But for some reason, this shade on my lips looks 10 times lighter than it looks in the bullet. It's very strange. So I have to use like a lip liner to deepen this up. Um, so yeah, I know that I like it. I just don't need to keep it for another... Round. My Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I think I should keep this because did I even use this? I don't think I used this. I mean, since I put it in my shop, my stash. So, gonna keep that because it's just a nice, like, everyday shade. Um, these Tarte uh, Maracuya Juicy Lips. I love. I used only one of them though, the Buttered Rum shade. I think I'm gonna keep this one in, Mary Martini, because it's a nice um, bright like pink shade. These are pretty sheer, so it's not gonna look that pigmented on my lips, but I just really like these. And because they are so like creamy and glossy, I should probably get more use out of them. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I want to keep this one. This I'm going to put away because it's just too Christmassy, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's the Too Faced uh, Peppermint Bark High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. It came in a set with like all the different flavors, but yeah, I'm going to put that one back. I'm going to declutter these two things because when I did my lip, sorry, making a lot of noise. When I did my lip video, first of all, I realized I have way too many lip products. <laughs> Second of all, a lot of them are like in the same color family. So why keep two that I never reach for? So this one is the Hello Kitty ColourPop whatever thing, Ultra Satin Matte, I think it says. I have a lot of other things in this shade. I don't need to keep this one, but it's still good. So, cause sometimes the formula of these ColourPop lip products goes bad, but this one looks fine. I just need to like shake it or something, but I could pass this one on still. And this one, I don't think I ever used, at least not on my lips. Maybe I swatched it. It's by, the Beauty Crop, and it's a liquid lipstick, a matte one, 
but this shade I have so much of this like reddish brown shade I just don't need to keep this one so these will go to a new home this I love my bite guava puff yay sayer plumping lip gloss I'm gonna keep this but am I gonna keep it in my Chame stash no, I think I could try something else. I use this enough and I know that I like it. This will go back again to Christmassy for me right now. It's a Too Faced Melted Matte in Cinnamon Bear. So it smells like cinnamon. Another like Christmassy lip product from Too Faced. And this last thing, I think I'm passing this on too. This Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Biscotti. I just, again, it's just a shade I have too many of. So why keep ones that I don't reach for when I want to try other ones in my collection, you know? And these Bite products don't last forever, so I should pass it on for someone else to get better use out of it. I'm going to clean this and... Then we'll do the fun part, which is choosing new products to go in my shop mustache. Okay, so this is my bar cart slash makeup vanity. <laughs> I don't even know if this is a bar cart. Someone let me know below if you know what this is. It's like one of those things you would have like in a dining room. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so... What I do normally in my Shot My Stash videos is I use the app Tiny Decisions to randomly pick products for my collection. And I like doing that because I might like choose something that I didn't think of using. So I'm going to do that and then when I'm done, I'm going to see, okay, like how much stuff do I have? Do I need to pick more? And if I need to pick more, then I just pick whatever I feel. So I'm going to get my phone. So this is the app if you haven't seen my last videos. I just have like different categories and I'm just going to start from the top. So oh my god I totally forgot. <laughs> I have two palettes in my shop my stash. Let me get those out. My modern renaissance palette which looks like this. I'm sure most of you know what this palette looks like. And my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which is more neutral. So I gotta keep that in mind. I already have these two, the Kristen Leanne and the Natasha Denona Bronze palette. So I think that means I'm just gonna choose one other palette. So I'm gonna use the app here which palette. I also have eyeshadow singles in this category, so we'll see what happens. Kaja Toasted Caramel. Again? No, that, <laughs> that was in my last shot, my stash. I feel like this app always picks the same stuff. Let me try again. Oh, that's interesting. My MAC in the Flesh palette, I haven't used that since like, not last December, but like the one before. So, okay, I'll take that one out. So this is it. It's, I mean, not that exciting for spring, but it's a good everyday palette. And this is actually a good run to see if I'm gonna keep this, because I was thinking, I might declutter this at some point, so let me see if I still like this formula. So the next category is bronzer. Oh, <laughs> my physician's formula butter bronzer is already in my project pan. So yeah, so I have the physician's formula butter bronzer my Fenty Cream Bronzer. So let's choose one more. Uh, 
Oh, Benefit Hula. That's good. I haven't used that in a long time. It's actually just a mini one like this, but I haven't gotten a lot of use out of this actually. It still like looks brand new. I actually got this from Influencer. So yes, I, that's a good one to have in, especially for spring summer because I feel like it's a bit deeper than my other bronzers. Next category is blush. Oh yay, Animal Crossing Flower Tender. So that's my new blush from the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection. Oh, I'm excited because this is actually the one that I didn't use when I did my video on this collection. This is the packaging. It's the cutest thing ever. Then it looks like this. Same packaging on the product. It's like a really nice like peachy coral shade. So I'm definitely excited about that. The next category is highlight. Ooh, I have a lot of highlighters. <laughs> Becca Prosecco Pop. I don't even know I own that. <laughs> uh, okay, let me find it. So this is it. I totally forgot that I even had this. This is what it looks like. It looks very similar to Opal, doesn't it? Maybe it's more peachy. That could be nice for spring and summer. I mean, I'll probably do another shot my stash before summer, but <laughs> I'm just thinking ahead. Yeah, okay, good. Then for concealer, Elf. Oh, that is actually a new product that I haven't even hauled on my channel yet because I was planning to do a drugstore video. Okay, yeah, so that makes sense and it will encourage me to finally do that video. <laughs> it's the, um, it's actually the Elf uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm pretty excited about it. Here it is, still in the packaging. I hope I got the right shade. It's uh, fair warm because there was a lighter shade, but the shades in this product are weird. They don't go up by like a shade. They go up by like different tones. Like the one before this was like pink and then this one and then, you know, so I hope it's the right shade, but anyway. That's exciting to try this new concealer. Then we have primer. Um, I need to keep in mind, I already have two primers in my project pan. Oh, okay. I've been wanting to try this. It's um, actually that mousse primer from Kaja. So yeah, that's fun. It's like this aerosol kind of primer. It's like, you know, you shake it up and it comes out like a shaving cream kind of texture. I think I got this in a boxy charm and I have yet to use it, so that's another good one. Okay, now we're in the lip products. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this wheel. You can't even read it. Oh my god, my phone's gonna explode. Benefit Flirt Alert. Oh, that is a bright red lipstick. Okay. Actually, another spoiler for a video coming. I was planning on doing a video where I swatch all my red lipsticks to see which ones like I actually want to keep because I feel like a lot of them are the exact same shade and some of them are getting old like this one. This is ancient, they don't even make this anymore. So yeah, I'll add this though. So it's like a true red like this, which is nice. Cause I don't like to wear like deep, like brown reds this time of year. So this will be a nice 
change. So the next one is setting spray. Oh, I keep, I did this last time. I keep forgetting to take this out because it's my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow and I actually use that as a toner now, so ignore that. Hard Candy, okay, that one's good. I haven't used that in a while. It's actually this one. This is the Hard Candy Rose Drench Toner and Refresher. It's from the Marilyn Monroe collection. Um, yeah, that'll be nice for spring. It's like a nice floral scent, so yeah. And it actually has hyaluronic acid and rose water in it, which I need for my dry skin. Eyeliner, let's see. Urban Decay Torch, yes. Okay, this is fun. Urban Decay Torch is like a nice warm reddish brown eyeliner. I think it came out with the Naked Heat palette, but the question is, where is it? <laughs> so it's this one here. This is gonna go so good with the Natasha Denona bronze palette. And this better not be dried out because I'll get real mad, but yeah. This one, foundation, and then lashes is the last one. That's a new category for me. Ugh, that's the foundation in my project pan, the Tarte Empowered, so I have to choose another one. So the Wet n Wild, I really love that foundation. Actually, it's the Dewy Photo Focus, so that's good. This one here, um, I might actually need to mix this with something when I use it. So I'm thinking if I should add my Flower Beauty Bronzing Essence because this is very light for me and going into like the warmer months, I think it's gonna look Pale. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add this in with it. My Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. Um, mostly because I actually want to use this anyway. And I haven't used it yet as like a foundation mixer, if I remember correctly. So yeah, that'll be something good. These two mixed together. So the last category, like I said, lashes. Oh god, <laughs> not those again. The Ardell Magnetic. Okay, I guess I've been meaning to try those again. I do have a video <laughs> where I use these and it was a total fail. It's really funny, I'll link it below uh, if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, let's try those again. The Ardell Magnetic lashes. So they're actually just accents, yeah. Let's try these. <laughs> oh dear. It's probably gonna be a disaster, but it'll be a fun thing to try, I guess. So that was everything that I picked randomly. Let me put it away and we'll see if I need to pick anything else from this whole situation here. So this is what my, um, shot my stash basket is looking like. I actually have this whole thing here that's empty. And aside from the lip products here in my project pan, I only have three products here. And two of them are lipsticks and one, actually this is technically a lipstick also. It's just like more like a balm texture. So, I think I'm going to choose some more lip products. I have two concealers. I have the Kaja primer, setting sprays here, foundation. I have two foundations. 
actually three because I have this Makeup Forever Powder Foundation, my eyeshadow palette. None of these palettes are like spring to me. Maybe the Kristen Leanne one. Okay, let's, yeah. Let's just do some more lip products and then see how I feel. <laughs> so what I usually do is I go like in each section to make sure like I'm rotating amongst the sections. So in this one, I just have my Fenty glosses. Um, which I guess I haven't used in a while. I think I'll take this one out. This mini fiddle focus. This is a uh, sweet mouth. And I honestly don't know if I've ever used it. <laughs> uh, because it was in my new makeup drawer at my condo before I brought it here. So that probably tells me I didn't use it yet. So yeah, let's add this one. And in this spinny thing, I have more lip products. My Sailor Moon ColourPop ones. Um... These Clarins ones. What's. Oh, yeah, this Physicians Formula. I already have Pillow Talk in my box, and this is Pillow Talk, but Physicians Formula and in a crayon. And if you saw my collection video, I swatched them side by side, and they're pretty similar. I mean, not in formula, but in shade. This is a lip gloss. Oh, I should take this out. This is my new Rare Beauty um, Glossy Lip Balm. Yes, in Nearly Apricot, which is really nice for spring. And I'm also thinking this, this Sephora uh, Jelly Melt. This is like the popsicle lip kind of look, so I think that's perfect. <laughs> for this um, season coming. I don't know why I'm pretending it's like summer. It's still like minus something outside today. It's freezing, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just in like a spring mood. So let's grab this one. So down here is more lip product. I already have a red. Oh, I don't really have anything nude. Maybe I should grab this. This is Bow and Arrow from KVD, which is now KVD Beauty. So, I don't even know if this exists anymore. Because it still, look, it says, <gasps> Kat Von D, don't say her name. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I think I, I want to actually try these again and see how I feel because I don't remember all I remember is like the different shades in this line had different formulas it seemed and some of them were really sticky and dry but I remember liking this one so let's see how I feel about it now and then this is my new makeup drawer I kind of want to grab one of my Animal Crossing just a tint duos because they're very springtime. This one is Fruit Roots. Peach Surprise is actually the one I used already. So then I have this one, Fruit Basket, Juicy Apple, and Cherry Cherry. So these are the red ones. And then this is the nude one, Coconut juice and incomparable. I think I'm gonna choose this one because I already have that tart juicy lip which is more like a pinky red so well not a red but like a pink so let's take this one out. Okay I think that's it. I don't want to like fill this up too much because then I get overwhelmed and because this is now my project pen and my shot my stash in one. Yeah, I think I should just focus on this. So everything in this container is for my 
project pan. So just to show you the final result, this looks like a mess. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and I won't be able to put the lid on it like I did before, but that's okay. So everything in this container is my project pan stuff. I just, I decided to just put this right in here. My um, tint from Drunk Elephant. This I'll use, it's really a skincare product to me, but if I put it in here, I'll remember to use it. So I have my project pan items that I showed you at the beginning. This sample Dior thing that I want to use up. My two project pan palettes, Modern Renaissance and Too Faced. Then this MAC in the Flesh that I picked. And the Natasha Denona Bronze and the Crystal Leanne Urban Decay collab that were already in here. Then my Kaja Primer. What is this actually called? Dream Puff Radiant Mousse Primer. Then in here, I just have the KVD Bow and Arrow, my Tarte Juicy Lip, my Benefit Flirt Alert, and my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top. So that's a good range of shades. But then I also have these lip products that I just added in. This uh, just a tint duo, which is more like nude shades. I sh I'll just show you them actually because You might not have seen that video So these are the shades. This one is Incomparable It's a nice nude like a brownie nude And this one is something coconut coconut juice just like a deeper brown, still nude, because these are, oops, these are sheer, so, I mean, it says it in the name, just a tint, so, yeah, those two, they smell lovely. Um, then I have my Sephora Jelly Melt, which is the shade of the bottle, in case you were wondering. My Nearly Apricot from Rare Beauty, and my Fenty Sweet Mouth, so that's, good for glosses. Oh, then my hard candy setting spray here. And then in this cup is two, my two concealers, my Maybelline Age Rewind, my e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer that I want to try, and this Urban Decay Torch Eyeliner. Then I have my Ardell Magnetic Accents, my Makeup Forever Powder Foundation, my ColourPop Animal Crossing Flower Tender Blush and the Wet n Wild Foundation with the Flower Beauty Heat Wave and my Becca Prosecco Pop. Let's see this next to my Opal. Okay, yeah, now I see the difference. Opal is more like a cool champagne and uh, Prosecco Pop is more like a warm gold. Okay, so there's a difference. So my battery's about to die. That was everything. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, I'll link those other videos I mentioned below as well as like everything else. My Shop My Stash description box takes me hours and hours, so I hope you actually um, look at it <laughs> if you want. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe <laughs> and give it a like if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!